Hi guys and welcome to your tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective reading, so please keep that in mind. Um, what that means is it's not specifically intended for any sign, okay? So collective reading, general reading, general message. If you're here um, and if you tuned in, I believe there's a reason you're here. Nothing in life is random. Nothing in life is just a mere coincidence, although some of you might want to explain it that way. But I feel like everything happens for a reason. So if you're here, you're here for a reason, okay? Even if you're only here for a few seconds of it. There's something here that led you here. You've been guided here. You've been drawn here. You've been pulled here. So hence why you're here. Okay, in today's reading, I want you to focus i want you to take some time pause the video take as long as you have to and i want you to think of your person okay the person that you're connected to i want you to think of your person and i want to see what are their messages to you right now at this point in time as i've mentioned it is going to be a general reading so if you're after a personal one feel free to reach out and inquire my email address is going to be listed below the video okay so Take your time, think of your person, we'll see what their message is to you. There will also be an extended to this reading, and in the extension reading, we're just going to follow on with the messages and maybe, you know, um, dive a little bit dive a little bit deeper into those messages. So, having said that, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, Eight of Cups energy. So there's obviously, you know, a sadness um, attached to this Eight of Cups. So it could be your energy, it could be this person's energy, but this is someone who I feel like has walked away or you, you've walked away from this person, okay? Um, if you're the one who has pulled away from this person who has walked away, I feel like this person uh, feels really emotionally triggered and I feel like this is an individual who feels like you've abandoned them, okay? I'm not saying that you have abandoned them, but I'm saying this is how your person feels. So if you haven't um, I don't know if you guys are in a period of disconnection or separation. This person feels like they've lost you and they're feeling really hurt and they're feeling really abandoned and they're feeling a strong sense of loss because not only does this person feel like you've walked away from them and they've lost you, I also feel like this person feels like they've lost all their visions, okay? All the plans, the intentions, the visions that you guys um, had for each other and had for each uh for each other and for the future so walking away meant that you know they lost you but you also took all of that with you on your way out so this is someone who's feeling a sense of sadness a sense of loss a sense of anger hurt and disappointment i feel like this person maybe has gone on to date other people okay so if you're no contact no communication i feel like this person is trying to distract themselves from feeling this you know the depths of this sadness and the depth and loneliness and isolation and they're trying to distract themselves by trying to connect with multiple people but it's not working okay they don't they can't seem to find the connection they find they've found with you okay so even though they're trying to replace you you're irreplaceable one of a kind you know they've connected with you on a soul level on a very deep level Okay, and they're struggling to understand exactly how is it that they've connected with you so intensely. And they feel like they could have, they feel like, you know, they could have gone out and get that connection with someone else. At least that's what they thought, but they're not able to do that. Okay, so they definitely feel like since you've pulled away or since the two of you have been in a separation, they're feeling strong sense of loneliness, isolation, abandonment. I feel like this person has um, abandonment issues as well. Okay, now these could have stemmed from early childhood environment, um, but it feels like it feels like they've been triggered in a very big and powerful way. Okay, um, again, I'm not saying that, you know, you've abandoned them or you've pulled away, but this is how they feel. They feel strongly abandoned. They feel a strong sense of loss. And I feel like loss is something that they struggle dealing with. Something about the full moon as well. I don't know if this person has a tattoo of a full moon um, or a moon. Or the most recent full moon that's been or the full moon that's coming I feel like there's something to do about a full moon I also feel like because the moon um, you know it's very strongly connected to intuition I feel like intuitively you can feel this person pulling on your energy you can feel this person thinking about you you can feel this person trying to reach out to you okay so even though this person is not connecting with you even though you guys might not be talking or you might be, I feel like they're holding back and not telling you everything. Or I feel like this person is 
out of hurt, out of anger, okay, out of the you know these emotional triggers that they're feeling, they're refusing to reach out and connect with you because. I feel like this is someone who's hurt. Okay, you've got the Five of Cups, so this sort of echoes on from what I'm saying. Strong sense of hurt, loss, rejection, disappointment, okay, regret. Okay, and notice how both the figures have their backs turned to us. Okay, notice the slouch posture, the body language, sadness, loss, disappointment, loss of confidence, okay. You know, an unhappiness, a loneliness, and they're both quite isolated. Okay, so this is someone who is feeling honestly they're feeling the weight of regret they're feeling the weight of pain of hurt of rejection um i feel like at first when you guys disconnected or separated it hasn't hit them as hard because i feel like maybe they were um you know refusing to believe the reality maybe they were just refusing to accept reality that kind of thing but i feel like since you guys have disconnected they've been doing very sad without you i'm also seeing the chalices tipped over here so i feel like for some of you this is someone who has been indulging in drinking a lot so i don't know if this person is um you know is a heavy drinker or i don't know if this is how you know they try to drown their sorrows by going down to the local bar but i feel like this is someone who um they may have an alcohol addiction, okay, or um, someone who drinks excessively, especially when there's just too much hurt and too much pain. Um, this person feels as though not everything is lost, so they still feel connected to you, okay? And I feel like this is something that they try to, or are trying to tell you, but not verbally, not with their words. So they're just trying to sort of tell you spiritually, energetically, okay, that they feel, they still feel your presence, they still feel your connection, Um I'm also seeing that this individual has something, they're holding on to some of your possessions. Okay, so if they if this is someone who's told you they've gotten rid of your possessions, this is a random. But if this is someone who's told you, you know, they discarded your possessions or, uh, possessions, sorry, or got rid of them, they're being dishonest. They're holding on to them because this is a way of them staying close to you. Okay, three of swords, heartbreak, emotional anguish, pain, hurt, rejection. So, you know, this person is definitely going through a range of feelings but swords are a weapon okay um there is a focus of threes here notice the three chalices spilled over the three chalices on the top row and the three of swords so i don't know if this person put you in a third party situation i don't know if you know there was a lovers triangle involved here but it does the cards do seem to strongly denote some sort of third party situation it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, someone else that got in the way of this connection, it could have been something else that kind of wedged a distance between the two of you. So, um, because I feel I'm seeing mountains and bridges, this may have been a long distance relationship and maybe that's what sort of ate away at the relationship, okay? The fact that, you know, it's long distance, it's hard, it's hard work, you know, it's hard maintenance here and this is, and not everyone can do it. It maybe just got too much for this person being away from you all the time. Um, but trust me when I say this person is certainly feeling the theme of distance is coming up here. So this person is certainly feeling like really lonely being without you. I see them crying a lot. I see crying and drinking. So either they've started drinking or they've gone back to drinking. If they were heavy drinker in the past, they've picked that up. They're trying to drink and drown their sorrows. Okay. They're not coping well. They are not coping well. Now on the surface, you might think they're doing good without you. Remember how I said they're trying to distract themselves. Okay. That's what they want you to see. They want you to see that they're doing good without you. They want you to see that they're fine. That they're trying to, you know, they're trying to replace you. Um, that's what they want you to see. Okay, this is coming from a place of anger. This is coming from a place of hurt. When someone reacts in an angry way, okay, what they're really trying to tell you is they're hurt. They're not trying. They don't know how to communicate that to you. This is why I'm here to sort of um, interpret that for you. But really, this person is hurt. Water and air signs, so you might have been dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. You may be a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra, okay? But I feel like water, water energies and earth energies are heavily involved here. You've got the Ten of Cups, okay? And this is probably, you know, all of these three uh, three cards beforehand denote a sense of sadness, loss. And then we're finishing up on the Ten of Cups, which is actually... Um, a beautiful energy okay this is alignment this is the storybook romance this is the happily ever after so which makes me think that you know sometimes you know there's a storm there's a storm that you and this person have gone through are going through okay and you need to go, go through a storm to get the rainbow 
So, I feel like this needs to happen, okay? This breakup, this disconnection that you are experiencing, or some of you, you are about to experience, okay? And this is just a heads up, it's a warning. Um, it needs to happen in order for the two of you to come back together again. The cards do seem that you you know, you will cross paths, because I do feel like the two of you will cross paths and you will talk to each other, and I feel like you will try and give this connection a second go. You're going to try and work at it, okay? Um, it does feel like you guys have hurt each other too much, but it feels like there's just too much there for the both of you to give up on it. So it feels like you guys need to either fight harder or try harder to make it work, okay? You also need that time apart to think about, um, you know, reflect on the situation, reflect on what's going on, um, do a little bit of self-reflection, self-analysis, a little bit of, you know, all that Tony Robbins stuff. Um, but the t there is a Ten of Cups situation. There is the two of you coming back together, embracing each other, trying to make it work. In fact, I do feel like this could very well be the person that you end up with, okay? This could very well be, you know, you're happily ever after, you riding off into the sunset with this individual Disney style, right? This could be exactly that for you. It could also be, an, um, it could also be someone that you end up having children with. This is someone whom you settle down with, have a home, um, build a nice home, a beautiful future with this person, children. Because remember how I said at the start of the reading, remember how I said that this person feels like not only they lost you, but all the plans and the intentions that you guys had for each other and for the future. Okay, because when they met you, almost as soon as they met you, like within the first, I don't know, a few hours or even days, they already sort of future with you in their head. Yeah, that soon. Like that's how certain they were about you and about this connection. And I'm also going to say you're probably, you know, you were probably just as certain. You were probably just as certain. You saw, um, you know, you're, you saw a future with them in mind just as quickly right so losing you meant losing that but getting you back means you know getting this back too so you know this person doesn't want to does want a reconnection does want a reunion but right now they're too hurt they're too hurt to see that that's what they want and that's what they can you know work out they're too hurt and if you try and push this it's going to backfire okay you push it'll backfire you give it time to marinate you give them time to marinate on their hurt their pain work through all of that because I'm seeing them crying I'm seeing them drinking I'm trying to I'm seeing them trying to distract themselves I'm seeing them do all sorts of things here but they need to flush that out of the system they do and what you need to do and it probably hurts for you to stand by and watch all of that happen but you need to let this person do what they need to do that it's it's healing and healing is real ugly it's ugly okay and that's what's happening with this person they're healing they're crying they're hurting they're screaming they're angry they're lashing out at everyone around them I mean, they're not good company right now, but hey, that's healing. And that's what needs to happen with this individual. So give them that space to do that because they, you know, they do want this. And you can absolutely go back to this with them. Okay, you can go back to this beautiful Ten of Cups, this, you know, this honeymoon phase of the relationship. You can go back and restore that. But all of this healing, all this work needs to happen first. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I did mention there was going to be a part two to this reading. So maybe in part two, we'll explore more about how you can help each other heal or how you can hope, um, how you can focus on your healing. Okay, um, communication, I think, is also important in this connection, how you can try and work on communicating, okay, verbally, emotionally and whatnot. And when you can expect this happily ever after, this reconnection, this reunion. Okay, so follow me to part two via the extension link below. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Bye for now.